Kike Hernandez will be at the top of the order. He's trying to get going inning 107. Rafi Devers with four home runs, then Justin Turner helping to make banking easier. They'll go with the opener here, and that is Jalen Beats, the former Red Sox prospect. He'll go an inning or two here tonight. In Detroit, he was 0 for 10. He'll fly that one to right field. Rayleigh to get underneath and near the line, and one fast out in the top of the first inning. And he put him away, strike three. Drives out into the left field, but it hangs up for Rosarena in, and that's all. The Red Sox will go one, two, three in the first. Rosarena, Franco, Rayleigh, Ramirez is three home runs. Paredes followed by Margot. Red Sox starting pitcher brought to you by buyatoyota.com. Nick going one with a 180. Two nothing. High fly into center, driving back ref Snyder all the way to the track to haul that in. That's the way they have been swinging the bats. Chopped on the infield. Arroyo up and over. Two gone. Little floater off into right field down for a base hit. Scooped up by Verdugo and that'll be a long single for Rosarena who can really be a wild guy on the bases. Quite a number of years. Runner goes. Long thrown down and it skips away. Nice back up there by Arroyo. So it never really got deep into the outfield, but a stolen base and a 2 2. And he got him. He struck him out. With a breaking ball foul tip to the mid. Two of them that hopefully get really hot. There it is. Speak it into existence. Yoshida with a base hit to left. As he got it down on the carpet. The Red Sox have their first hit tonight. Got to have Yoshida in the lineup, too. Cut on a miss, down he goes hacking. Second strike out here for Beeks. And another fly ball toward that alley, but Rosarena covers the ground, and that's all. One man left. And the 0-2. That one punched into right field. That'll get down and up against the wall. Rayleigh to second. And they're standing up. That's their second hit so far against Pavetta. One two. Yeah, he went after that one down. He goes strike three. And the second K in the book for Nick. Swing and a miss. He got him. Got him with that yacker. Back to back K's. Lost 100 games that year, but nobody talks about that. Comebacker here for Pavetta. He will get out of the inning. Good work after the double. Yeah, Fleming will throw the sinker, the curve on the change. Had a cutter last year. Hasn't thrown one. Red Sox have been playing quick games. The last three have gone 232, 238, 238. Swing and a miss for strike three. On the infield. Franco charging, firing. He's got a lot of talent. He gets him for the second out. And he struck him out. Red Sox done in order. Flare that one, and he'll drop down to left center field for a base hit. So he is one for two on the night. Side is going to walk him. So a little trouble brewing here. First and second for Tampa Bay in front of the number three hitter. There's a shot out to left center. Rev Snyder racing back, runs it down, yeah. nice sliding play there, and the runners go back to second and first. Ref Snyder with an outstanding play at a mile from home plate. That is the sick play right there. And a pitch into the seventh inning, into the eighth inning. Bounding ball, the Royals got it. They'll go to first. Oh, really fine work there by Nick Pavetta, Ref Snyder with a big assist. And Corey Kluber on Thursday afternoon. There's a drive out to right field, well struck by Turner. It'll be Rayleigh back to the track to put that away. High pop up foul of third. Paredes has plenty of room here, and that will do it. Foul tip to the mid. He struck him out. Lunging, pop that one up into right. Oncoming Verdugo, plenty of time. Two fly ball. Here comes Ref Snyder, and a running play. 
For out number three. That's the first time all year Tampa Bay has been held scoreless in the first four innings. Wow. Mayonnaise with cookies. Gorgeous. Breaking ball in there, frozen for strike three. And number two gone. Oh, tapping through, and that's going to reach the outfield for a base hit. Just sort of guided it out there to right. Red Sox have their second hit today. Casas lines it and caught by Diaz for out number three. One man left. Swing and a miss. He came back to get him. Terrific comeback there by Nick Pavetta to strike him out. 3 0. And that time he missed. Diaz is not the kind of hitter who's going to help you. Swung on and missed. He comes back to get him. Well, he's been tough when he's had to be. Oh, two. And cut on and missed. Lemming puts him away after that. Almost off to a phenomenal start. It's a bounding ball to third. Charging in parade is off balance. Nice play. Two up, two down. And one, two. Strike three. Oh, wow. That's two balls in a row. One, two, three, go to Red Sox in the sixth. Giving way to this right hander. Mankowski's been awfully good. One, two coming. Jammed in. Two hopper. Raphael on target. He's got some good stuff with that cutter and slider. Got him there. Picked up by Wong. Fires on to complete the K. And he breezes through the sixth inning. I think we responded pretty well so far. Obviously, it definitely hurts um, not having him in the lineup because of what he's done so far. You know, he's probably arguably our, our uh, hottest hitter. Sorry, I had to give him a little bit. You know, we, we're on Team Israel together having fun. So. I, I think all the guys have been. He got him, struck him out. Yoshida down swinging. So two away and a Red Sox seven. Just to feel good. Hammer to third off the bat of Ref Snyder. And Paredi sends it across to get him. One, two, three. Sharply hit, backing up Raphael. Got rid of it quickly. Good play right there. One out. Here's the payoff pitch. Deep short. It'll be a tough, tough play. KK oh, releases oh. and cannot get him. So Paredes will be on with an infield hit. High chop. Nice stab. Throw in the second. A lunge and did get him. Nice play there by Kike. And Arroyo going over to make that backhanded grab on the throw. Another one chopped on the infield. Kike got it there. Side retired. One left. Nothing, nothing game. Colin Poche, who you can sure says is their last remaining lefty. One of the only hits. They've got another one now. Ball four. Nice way to begin the eighth inning. Pops that one up to right field. Bruhan under. Get out. Yes, soft line drive finds home and left. Verdugo to second and stopping there. Bobby Dolbeck coming off the bench and getting a base hit and maybe a very big one. With one out, this is swinging a drive. The Rosarena back to make the play, and the runners will get back to first and second. Connor Wong stung that one. But not enough carry on that, and there are two away. And that is going to miss inside for ball four. He walked him on four straight, and the bases are loaded. Roche with the 0 2. And in there for strike three, he froze him, and the Red Sox leave the bases loaded. And each of his five appearances with the Red Sox have been scoreless. He needs to do that again. Diaz will pop it up. The Royal under in shallow right, and one away. There's a shot out to right. That one's deep. Back it goes. It is gone. Touching them all here. 
He can be so dangerous if you put it in the wrong spot. No doubt on that at the crack of the bat. That's the first run of the ball game. One to nothing, Tampa Bay. It'll be popped up by Franco in the infield. Arroyo says he has it to retire the side. But Brandon Lau drives one out. It is one to nothing, Tampa Bay, as we go to the ninth inning. And tomorrow night will be on Nesson Plus. Here's Pete Fairbanks, one of the best closers in the business, and struck him out. Got him looking, went away, and the Red Sox ninth. Now ball back to the pitcher. That's going to be a fast out. Two gone. Two down and a one-two pitch. And a weak ground ball to the right side. Lyle will flip it on to get him. And this game is over. One to nothing, Tampa Bay. They are now 10-0 in the season.